Tonight, state and local police are investigating the death of an infant found in a tub of a home in Lewiston. WMTW News 8's Kyle Jones is live at the Lewiston Police Department with more on what happened there. Kyle. David, I spoke with police earlier today to find out just what happened, and they say that they're putting all of the pieces together to answer that question and find out what happened before that child died. Lewiston police were called to a home on Pierce Street Monday afternoon. When they arrived, they found an 11 month old child unresponsive in a bathtub. The parents were out of the room at the time, out of the bathroom at the time. Uh, for a short time, they returned and found the baby had drowned. The baby was taken to Central Maine Medical Center, but when they arrived there, he was already dead. Obviously, we're going to, you know, we're, we're going to put the case together and we're going to find out the circumstances as to why the child was left alone in the bathtub. But the child was reportedly taking a bath with his two-year-old sister, and despite the sibling being a year older, Gillian Roy, who works at Advocates for Children, always warns adults against leaving their children alone in water. Sometimes parents have inappropriate expectations for their children, so they don't understand necessarily what um, a child is able to do at a certain age. According to the Consumer Product Safety Commission, drowning is the leading cause of accidental death for children between one and four years old. Whenever children are in or around water, it's really important for the parents to not only be eyes on, but hands on as well. State police say both parents were home at the time and they've been interviewed as part of the investigation. The results will be included in a full report to the Androscoggin District Attorney for review. And this is a good reminder to people to, to know that um, you, you know it's, it's very important that you never leave a kid alone in the bathroom, uh, especially around water or any, any type of water for that matter. Now, again, there are no charges yet in this case. Now, that police report, as well as the autopsy from the medical examiner's office, is all going to be sent over to the Androscoggin County District Attorney's Office for review and then determination on any possible charges. Live in Lewiston, Kyle Jones, WMTW News 8.